Hello guys and welcome to episode 56 of my Total War Three Kingdoms playthrough playing as Sun Chen on very hard difficulty. Today we are hopefully going to be defending Zhong Shan. Uh, it's currently under siege by Lu Wei Huang and Chuan Yu is uh, hoping to back him up. But I think Sun Chen should be able to get the job done here with Good old Lai Yin. So let's tell the settlement to sally for, and we'll have our men come in as reinforcements. Let's go. I was a little unsure as to whether or not I wanted to play this out, but since we have like Sun Jian himself and uh, Lai Yin, who's proper decked out with gear, uh, we should be okay. Just got to make sure that we back up to our reinforcements. And then we'll just play on the edge of the map. Alright, that's going to be our front line. And that's our rear line. We do have one unit of trebuchets. We've got some pearl dragons that can defend the right hand side. And we'll have the spear units. Actually, we do have all of those spear units, don't we? Uh, let's use the spear guard as our front line. alongside the yellow dragons. Because they all have turtle stance. And then we can have the Shun Sword Guard on each side. I'll move the garrison over here. Those to a right flank with the Pearl Dragons. We'll put them in group three. Just forming up as we can. Okay, great. Almost in position. forward slightly and then we're going to ungroup everything and regroup it by heading towards the enemy off we go it might take a little while to get there I'm not sure how far away they've gone I assume they are going to be consolidating their reinforcements Yeah, Sun Xian and uh, Lai Yin aren't actually that healthy at the moment. They've taken quite a bit of damage. Still healing up. They could probably win duels quite easily though, so it may be worth throwing them into the duel in order to regain health if they win the duel quickly enough. Sun Xian will definitely win a duel quickly, I'm not sure about Lai Yin. Might be worth going to have a look, see where they are. Let's have Sun Qian lead the way. I 
Okay, looks like we can see the enemy now. That's good. Uh, let's sort out our formation then. Be ready to receive them. Because I think they're going to come towards us since we have the trebuchets. It looks like they kind of split their army. I'm probably just going to let these fire. Okay, they've gone into loose formation already. Let's target those crossbows. I'm gonna pick decent dual targets as well. Oh, Archer Militia getting wrecked. What we like to see. Charging straight into the front. Looks like they are. And that's fine by me. We'll take that jewel. Anyone want a jewel, Sun Xian? Oh, that was a nasty charge for those mounted lance of Malaysia. Straight into the protectors of heaven there. That is rough. Alright, come on, lay in. Win nice and quick for us. Good. He actually made health back there, which is great. Anyone want a duel? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no one wants a duel. Sun Qian, but everybody will duel Lei Yin. Alright, next one. <laughs> Come at me. Ah, uh, we need to help out our line here. Uh, let's just shoot them. I can't be bothered with having those horses in our back line. Let's move these guys into the melee as well. My crossbow's got wrecked. Right, they're dead. That's good. <laughs> right, now we can shoot back into the melee. <laughs> Go on, Lion. Do him in. There you go. Oh, well. Another one down. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Move forward to this too. already killed two of them. Let's, let's kill the next one. 
想向我军将领发起斗将。Already knocked him off his horse nicely. I'm actually running out of ammunition here. They managed to get their repeating crossbows into a decent position. Alright, so I kill Zheng Shao. It's fine. Okay, good. We got some decent hits onto the repeating crossbows there, even if we did run out of ammunition. I could probably just have these horses go run them down. One lie in, finish them off. Very good. Next. <laughs> uh, taking on uh, Fu Mancheng might be a little harder because he has the evasion he needs. I think we've almost won anyway. Are all of my men engaged? Pretty much. Oh, I should have probably taken them out of turtle. That was a mistake. Because the melee rate, melee attack rate is minus 20%. Which is pretty damn awful. Oh, that guy will duel him even though he's got less health. He's on foot. <laughs> Can he win? How many jewels has he won already? Like two? Three? <laughs> A lot? <laughs> Those guys need to drop their shield wall and get in there as well. Yeah, I thought that one might be a little bit more difficult. But proving to be the case. Although with the debuff, I think uh, Lai Yin should be able to finish him off. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's it. Right, very nice. Don't really have too much cav, but I am going to still run him down with the generals, I think. We can get him mounted back up. He can go run down some men. The whole front line, really. There's a lot of dudes still fighting. Okay, we nearly mown down all of those. Let's just go across to that one. Across to that one. I should definitely be hitting those axe band. There's 180 left there. <laughs> Let's just allow Sun Xian to <laughs> take out most of them. Pretty much all of the forces dealt with. Not sure we're going to catch up to these warriors of Yi. No, they're going to get off the field. We'll claim the victory there. Close victory. Yeah, that was pretty solid. Respect begets loyalty. Fear harbors revolt. Inattentive leadership leads to disdain.
All right, nice job, Sun Chen. Good defense there. Crushed a couple of armies. Decent amount of cash. 71 heroism. Fiery, fraternal, cruel, and solitary. I think I'm just going to execute him. We'll take the replenishment. Thank you very much. Okay, nice. So it looks like these guys are going to be pretty much full healed after this turn, my generals at least. The other forces are going to take a little while to replenish though. Alright, let's go through our characters here. We've got Quotia. He's actually leveled up. So where do we want to put his points now? I guess towards patience would be the best bet. And it looks like Shuo Yu has also, or Shu Yu, also leveled up. And he's got most of the good stuff now. We don't actually need intuition. So we may as well just go across, like so. Alright, over to Sun Chuan. He is joining Huang Long and you. Honestly, Huang Long's probably going to have to chill. Uh, I might put her in ambush stance. That would be a, a decent idea. Is there any good places to ambush here? It's an 80% there. Yeah, let's go here. We'll go into ambush. Hopefully, Shang Liao will come out and try and attack Chung An. We can ambush him and then take Hang Han Chong. Uh, we will have Sun Chuan uh, come and help her though, and then we can push Lu Bu out of this area and then go up north. Although I expect Gong Du is dealing with Lu Bu quite well, as he's not being pushed back by the looks of things. Alright, let's uh, attack this army. Uh, this should wipe out that faction. <laughs> really? There was one person in the army. <laughs> it was just the general. Okay. Is that it? Okay, good. <laughs> That's so silly. Oh, one thing I do need to do is fix up this settlement. Since it got sieged. Okay, cool. Right, on to Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu, I guess, can just head up towards Bohai. That's fine. And we have Sun Ren, who's going to head round to Beihai. That is fine. Uh, then we have this army that is in range to attack Yu Bei Ping. Actually, he's not in range. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. Oh, well, I'll take that next turn. We've got this army that's still heading north with this army. We'll soon attack Gongdu. Like, I think when we take this settlement, we may as well be attacking Gongdu as well. Because we're just going to be pushing north with all of those armies. On this side, we can probably just auto resolve this attack. With the way Huang. Yeah. Because we beat them previously when they sallied forth. Minus two heroism. Nice. Uh, okay, occupy that. Thank you very much. Uh, what is this? Farming estate. This is a fishing port. So yeah, we want food. Uh, that's fine. We can fix that up. Uh, Confucian Shrine is absolutely fine. 
guest house is fine and craftsman shack. I, mean, I think this is actually pretty well built. Cool. So that's that. Let's now head up towards Shuofang. I will probably have to attack Gongdu on the way. I'm probably going to just take the horse pastures and stuff from them on the way through. All right, and of course we have Lady Wu down here who is going to go colonize for us. I'm also going to build another army over here. We'll go and take the rest of Nanhai province. We do have uh, loads of assignments available as well. We're going to have to sort that out. Just thought I'd check then. It looks like we've got lots of extra slots. Because we did uh, take the reform that gave us another assignment and then I didn't actually assign anyone. So that was my bad. But we'll do that. Uh, let's just uh, raise another army here though. Maybe we could bring Yuan Shu into the fold. He can just run around and take stuff for us. Yeah, why not? That's a lot, but <laughs> I'm just going to disband most of his stuff anyway. I might keep the calf. We'll get rid of the rest. Okay, it's not going anywhere with March. That's okay. Cool. So now we just got to spend 23k. We have the food we need. Uh, the food will be sorted once we get Xi here. Uh, currently we are using 24 food on that, but once everything gets repaired, our food's going to go well up, so that's fine. Uh, let's just go through here and sort out where we're going to put the assignments. We're currently stimulating markets here, which is fine. Is there anything else we could do to like stack our income here? I wonder. We do actually have you die ready, which is nice. We could use income from industry as well here, but I don't think we actually make that much from industry. Yeah, 1.1k, so an extra 30% is like 300, 300 and something. Hmm, 330-ish. Right, let's see. Anyway, I'm probably best off just getting rid of corruption elsewhere. Because there will be certain places where corruption is still pretty high. Like at Luoyang. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put him here. 32% corruption. Uh, the issue is, is that we can definitely upgrade this and that will take it down to 20% anyway. So probably not worth it. Uh, Baxi, we need to upgrade the city in order to upgrade the Magistrate. I guess we could put one here for now, because that's going to take a little while to do. Well, that one is 54% corrupt. Alright, let's put one there. Get you die to do his reward the Ilion and incorrupt. Alright, cool. We could also put assignments into like Shenyi and Po Yang to just boost the income from industry. That's 2.1k industry income. So putting plus 30% income from industry there is not really a bad idea. We can also use more stimulate markets on ones that are getting us a lot of commerce income. 75% is quite a significant amount. Maybe we could do it here at Hipu. If we drop a counteract corruption here, and then we also do simulate markets, I think that'd be fine. Let's do corruption, 
And then we'll use this lady. Chi Yujin. To stimulate the markets there. Okay. Isn't she... Is she a part of our family? No. Sun is our name. That's fine. Her spouse is a court noble in Kong Rong. Interesting. Is there something we could do with that? Hmm. Well, we could probably divorce, force her to divorce him, but I don't think I'm going to bother because Kong Rong is not going to be around for much longer anyway. All right. Uh, let's go to Changsha here. We will push the income. Lovely. At uh, Zhenyi. We already have like a lot of commerce income. What would be best to put in here? We've got a lot of extra income from industry as well. Uh, let's just go for the state workshop. Build that up. A Puyang. Might be worth just upgrading the city. Uh, Nanyang. Uh, let's just keep upgrading the merchant registry office. That's fine. Dong. Hmm. It is 0% corruption. <laughs> just upgrade this one while we're there. And now we have 7,000 left. Chengdu. It's already 0% corruption. Let's just upgrade that then for now. And Badong. Public order is not too great, so we'll upgrade the public order building. At Chang'an. I uh, probably need a Confucian temple here. Uh, Shangyang. Currently has the coin maker, maker and the artisan's workshop. I'm probably just going to pop a Confucian temple in there to keep the public order positive. It is currently at 100, but the change is nothing. Because it's equal at the moment. I'm going to have to upgrade the actual city at some point so that we get the extra build slots. Alright, that upgrade's fine. Okay, that's all of our money spent. And we can move on to the next turn, I think. Uh, we're going to have to demolish that because that's causing us public order problems. Actually, it might be worth looking at public order uh, while we're here. Just to make sure that uh, all is well. That's currently going down. We don't have an extra slot. It's not good. Okay, we're going to have to sort that out at some point. Wait, did I just... What did I do? I feel like I clicked something I shouldn't have. Oh well. Uh, let's just move on to the next turn. It sounded like I clicked a demolish button on something by accident, but... I guess we'll find out in the future. <laughs> we haven't seen Le Bu, and... It looks like our ambush failed, but they have left the city, so that's fine. Oh, I think it's just a town they were in, but having left it leaves them quite vulnerable. Well, it looks like Han Fu just lost against her Yi. Alright, Sun Xin Shu. 
Ansa has had another child. And the finest armor. Let's see what armor we got. That's a couple of traits there. Nice. We got intellectual vestures. Okay. Uh, we can give that to one of our... One of our guys. I think Rogier already has one. Most of them do. Uh, we'll give it to Lu Yu since it's a big upgrade for him. Okay. That is fine. I like the hat it gives them. Lots of people in merit. That's for sure. Ding Yi. Understanding, cheerful, cautious, and competitive. I might actually take him on. Because uh, his uh, cunning is pretty high. What about this guy? Arrogant, tolerant, unobservant. No, what about this one? I don't really need more commanders. I really wish they'd make commanders more useful. They're only really useful for countering corruption, which I find really silly. <laughs> and since, like, assignees don't even help with garrisons, it's even worse. <laughs> I, I would like it if not only administrators, but also assignees helped in garrison fights. And that would be... That would actually make more sense because you could make them like the commander of a garrison, for example. You know when they're doing when they're being an assignee. But um, in terms of actually like leading armies, commanders are really bad compared to specifically champions who can get reach. Because reach has the best like campaign map movement range. Really strange. Anyway, um, this is an attack we're going to want to make. Oh, he's doing a runner? Really? You don't want to fight? Wow. He considers his army that bad that he doesn't want to fight Huang Long. That's nuts. Alright, well, we're getting on land here with Guan Yu. He's probably going to attack Chang An uh, whilst we're not there, which is really annoying. We're just out of range to attack him again. If this was a champion, then we would be in range because of the extra 25% campaign map movement range. <laughs> but alas. Right, let's move over here. Uh, we can probably attack these armies. They're all in March dance, so we'll just finish them off. Uh, I'm probably just going to delegate. I could have used a uh, night battle there, but I wanted the reinforcing army to join in. So that is fine by me. I will release him. Execute them. And execute them. Alright, lovely. <laughs> we'll chase him down, why not? Okay, let's have a look. This army at Anping. Nothing really to do. Uh, we could definitely attack uh, Guan Wenhu here. Because. They've just lost a battle against He Yi, a Ying Tuan. So, yeah, we should probably take advantage of that. I guess it depends who they're allied with, but I think we're fine. Also, Sun Ren needs to take back this, which is great. Uh, just Knight Battle Delegate. Just do that quickly while we're there. Okay, great. It's going to certainly help us out with food. I'm going to demolish the schools here. How are we doing for the Faction Council, actually? The schools, they always remind me of the Faction Council. Because... It's the only time that I ever build them. Right, what missions did we get? <laughs> Create schools. <laughs> Available spy position, overpopulation, administration office, and move to Lang Yi. Okay, nice. Alright, well, I guess I won't demolish that. I might just upgrade it so we complete that mission.
Okay, uh, Lai Yin uh, leveled up, so we'll get him probably to go towards flexibility. We could just go across to Guile and then Patience. The battle running speed actually for own retinue is pretty nice. I think I want to head across though, make him good in jewels by getting Binding Fury. Okay, right. Uh, so where are we going with this army anyway? I guess we're going to head down, right? So let's just do that. I don't care about being in this territory when we declare war. It really doesn't matter who we piss off at this point. Uh, this army is really in the middle of nowhere. I think we're just going to head up towards Chen for now. Because there's going to be a point where we have to attack her Yi. And he's probably going to be the army to do it. Let's just upgrade his army while we're here as well. We'll give him some protective heaven, upgrade his horses. The Lance Cav. So the medium, medium halberd calf, these are. Uh, we can probably get some better crossbows. Oh, not yet. We can get some mercenary archers, though. They're an upgrade. This guy, he can certainly upgrade his force. Get a couple yellow dragons in there. And it might be worth just keeping the mercenaries. Is a high rank. Okay. So, since uh, shall we attack Liu? Okay. Hmm, not sure. Let's uh, attack uh, Yu Beiping. Might be worth. Yeah, we're gonna have to play this out because apparently it's a valiant defeat. So in we go. This will actually complete our mission. This is the last one to take. It is defended by an administrator, which is probably why the auto resolve is not completely one sided. Well, they actually have water on this side. That's cool. There's not many towers inside, which is nice. So we just need to pick a wall to attack. Probably this one is best. Might have to be a little bit careful about that bastion. Okay, line these up like so. Our infantry in this army is actually pretty trash. <laughs> We've got G Militia and Spear Guards. They're just standard. Uh, what level is this guy? He's only level 4. Yes, yeah, so we can't get the next level Spear Infantry yet. But I should probably replace these with uh, Protective Heaven now that we can get them. Alright, let's uh, hit that Fort Tower. Is there a trebuchet? No, there is not. Okay, great. So as soon as this tower is destroyed, we can move up and attack the tower on the right-hand side. I'm going to have to move these guys across, because otherwise the fort tower on that gate will be able to attack them. Mm, I might have to get rid of this fort tower, actually. Nice. <laughs> that worked really well. I might take out that fort tower just because. Or we could maybe fire some rounds into their infantry. I think I'm going to hit this fort tower. And with that destroyed anyway, we can tell these to go burn down that tower and these to go burn down that tower. Okay. 
Okay, great. Now what we need to do, put these into turtle formation, start walking forwards. What are these guys doing? I definitely should have moved up the uh, spears first. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. Oh well. That's done. Right, that tower is destroyed as well. Just going to help our infantry advance. Great. It took quite a bit of damage on these archers, but I'm okay with that. Get out of range. So these will sponge the majority of the shots from the walls. Yeah, they're already down to like no ammunition, which is great. That's what we like to see. I really can't get decent shots in there, can I? That's kind of awkward. I, I do kind of wish that we could. Uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, we just have to move back, I think, and to either side. Maybe eventually we can get shots off. Alright, use up all that ammunition. Let's now get our men forwards. Looks like my general's going to have to do quite a lot of heavy lifting. Where is that general, actually? Uh, uh, we had a guy speaking against us, so I th thought they had a general. Hmm. Okay, well, either way, time to move forwards at our crossbows. And start hammering their infantry. Do as much damage as we can before engaging. I'm attacking the ones that don't have any shields. That's the, the idea. I'll attack the axe band a little bit. Just because they're quite concentrated. Alright, well that's all that ammunition down. Alright, let's move these guys up. Trying to do as much damage as possible. But, uh, looks like we're just gonna have to throw men in. Hope for the best. I could maybe bro break open that gate and then get some cav through there, but. Nah, not gonna bother. Right, let's just, uh, dismount these guys. One more, have them charging. Gonna have these ones climb the walls. These two can continue to move towards the breach. Well, it might actually be a good idea to let these use fire arrows. That was a nice amount of damage there from Minchi. Him and Gan Lu are going to wreck these guys. Mm. 
开战，杀！准备就绪，准备开战。凤翔云端。Uh, time for another Flames of the Phoenix. 胜利就在眼前。Brilliant. I think those flaming shots are actually helping a lot. Breaking their morale. Oh, that guy went flying off his horse. Get them to fire onto the engagement here. Yeah. Well, the amount of damage those spells do, those abilities, I guess they are, they're not spells. Uh, maybe I should just. Hit the archer militia there. I know they don't have any ammunition, but some free kills. The ones on the walls would be harder to hit, so may as well use them against ones that we can hit properly. Let's get these off the wall. I guess I can get Minchi up on the wall. That's fine. Oh, there he is. Hey, Lou, he's finally decided to turn up. I probably should have had Minchi duel him, but oh well. That's fine. He should be okay. I can always get uh, my strategist up here. Go climb that wall on the right hand side to help this engagement. Minshi should be up there shortly, so that is okay. Right, he needs to get up on that wall. There we go, lovely. Now he can do his ability and kill half of them. There we go. Wonderful. That is awfully close. If we get in range with the debuff, I think he might be able to win. Damn, it's close. Come on, Ganlu, you can do it. I believe. Oh, he's got him. <laughs> that was close. That was like one hit away. That was one hit from losing that. <laughs> uh, wow. All right. I think it's time for the calf to get inside the settlement. Although saying that, we do need to take care of the G infantry there, so we're going to have to wipe them out.
No, come on, Gunner. He's stuck. It looks like he's trying to engage this guy, but he's just being taunted by him. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Uh, these bugs sometimes. <laughs> They're so silly. It's like he's in a duel with the Archer Militia dude. I'm so confused. That's what it was acting like. Alright, I need to get past this G Infantry Captain with my cab so that I can stop being fired at by these archers. Okay, good, right. Let's just go and run down those archers. I mean, this is almost over anyway, because they're about to all run away. There we go. Wonderful. Decisive victory. Respect begets loyalty. Fear harbors revolt. Inattentive leadership leads to disdain. Alright. That's that done. 35 heroism. Not bad. Gained an ancillary. He's got the devious attendant, Pei Lu. Uh, we'll execute him for that. Why not? And we'll occupy the settlement. There we go. Challenge success. Path of glory. 10k population growth faction wide, extra 8 public order, and plus 5% income from peasantry faction wide. That's it, I think that's the last challenge that we can actually get. So we're in a good position now. So with Minxi, uh, how are we going to level them up? We could get Fury or we could get Vengeance. Uh, morale in own territory is pretty nice, morale in enemy territory is just as nice. Uh, scare's pretty good. I think we're going to go for Fury though, because then we can get the mobility as well. As for Gan Lu, well, uh, I guess we're going to get Binding Fury now, make him a little bit better in jewels. Alright. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I am going to leave it here. We've completed that mission, which is great. And now we'll be looking to wipe out Gongshan Sun. And as well as some other factions like Lubu and also Hans Xin up there. We're going to go up the river probably with Wei Huang and attack him. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.